rest in peace. Because you have reached Red Steel's Awesome Toy Club to review. I'm your man, Red Steel. And today, I'll be reviewing from WWE Superstars, Undertaker. WWE Superstars Undertaker. But before I get to the actual review, I just want to go over some of the spectacular details on this packaging. Up front and here you have typical blizzard with both the Undertaker and all of his accessories. Then up here you have the WWE Superstars logo. Then up here in the corner you have the Mattel logo. Then over here you have yellow starburst that reads, includes fabric entrance duster. Then over here you have a very vintage inspired picture of Undertaker, and down here it says Undertaker. Then on the other side of the packaging here, again you have the WWE Superstars logo along with that very same picture of the Undertaker, but in black and white. Then over here you have a holographic sticker that says that it's an officially licensed product. Then over here it says it's from Series 3. Then over here you have some of the Undertaker's catchphrases and logos, such as the Dead Man, Rest and Peace, Tombstone, and Death Valley. Then over here is the cross up for WWE Superstars Series 3 figures. WWE Superstars Undertaker. Undertaker was released on August 24th, 2022 with the suggested retail price of $19.97 and is available exclusively at Walmart. Undertaker was released along with the other WWE Superstars Series 3 figures Ultimate Warrior, Ted DiBiase, Papa Shango, and Mankind. Undertaker has 16 points of articulation and his accessories include his jacket, his hat, his tie, and four swappable hands. Undertaker stands 5.5 inches tall and he is meant for fans ages 8 and up. Now that The Undertaker on my display table, I just want to go over some of his play features and accessories, first by talking about his entrance ring jacket. And this entrance ring jacket has some fantastic detail. I mean, it's made out of a very sturdy material, yet it's still sheer enough to conform to the body. The way you put this jacket on, you will take Undertaker's arms and slip right through the sleeves, just like that. It takes a little bit of work because, you know, he's got some pretty large proportions up top. I'm going to pull it over his shoulders just like that, kind of fix the collar too. And you're going to pull it, make it look all nice, just like that. And this jacket does pull out that whole black trench coat look, it's really, really cool. The next accessory I'm going to talk about is his tie. And this is the first time I've ever owned an Undertaker where his tie is removable. I mean, I owned the very first Jack specific version of the Undertaker, but the tie was molded onto his chest. He did come with a removable hat though. And there's other, other, uh, Undertaker's that I owned, where his jacket was, was molded on, where you could take his jacket off. So I've never owned an Undertaker where he's in his full ring gear or his full, full entrance gear in one figure. It's either or. And the way you put this uh, tie on, you can do it one or two ways. The tie right here is a rubber band. You can just slip it over the Undertaker's head and put it under his hair, or you just pop his head off, just like that. What you can do now is go and slip that rubber band around his neck, just like that. You want to take his head, and the bottom of his head is a little porthole right there. Pop it right into that ball socket. Now you have the Undertaker with both his tie and his jacket. But you can't complete that look unless you have that Undertaker's iconic hat. And this hat is fantastic. I mean, it totally completes the look. Because once you put this hat on the Undertaker's head, and it fits right on his head perfectly, he's got that ominous, dark look that he had when he first made his debut in Survivor Series in 1990. And as a kid, I remember seeing the Undertaker walking into the ring and finding him very scary and intimidating, yet so cool. Cool enough to captivate my attention for the next 30 years while I followed this guy's career from beginning to end. I mean, he never got old to me. And there was a couple of looks I didn't really like. Like I didn't like when he went to the black and purple. I didn't like the whole Ministry of Darkness look. But I did look like the look when he 
He, he became the American BA for a little while, but after he dropped that look and went back to The Undertaker, I mean, that look was sweet too, but between that look and this look, these two looks are my favorite versions of The Undertaker. Next feature I'm going to talk about is his interchangeable hands, and he did come with four of them. He came with two open hands, lots of great detail. You can see some knuckle detail, vein detail, fingernail detail, you flip it over, you got palm detail, and even the grooves in the back of the fingers. Even at this scale, they went they went all above and beyond with the detail in the, in the hand sculpt. And also, you get the close fist, again, knuckle detail, vein detail, fingernail detail, palm detail. Same with this hand right here, where it kind of grips weapons. In order to change the interchangeable hand, you take his hand, and you pop it out of the wrist. You got a porthole right at the wrist, you got to peg it back in the hand. Just peg that right back in there, and now you have Undertaker interchangeable hand and there's some articulation there bend in and out twist all the way around the next feature i want to go and talk about with these figures is an undocumented fe feature but it's a feature that's very well known with the masters of the universe origin figures since they say it share this very same body types and let me go ahead and pop off the undertaker's head and take out this time so i want to get into this feature now. each one of these figures and i've shown you so far that the hands are removable and the heads removable but these figures are all 100 percent customizable you can kit bash any of these figures with the Master Universe Origin figures. And also with the, the, the Walmart exclusive line, the Master Universe uh, 30 figure that came out, you know, a while back. So you have three toy lines where you can could, you could just mix and match all their products and customize your own figures. So almost the, almost all the options for these figures are endless now. Because, I mean, you got three, three toy lines where they're all interchangeable. And let me show you what you can do. You can pop the head off. You can pop the arms off. Pop the waist off. You can also pop the boots off and the hands off. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save some time. And I'm going to go and grab Ric Flair, who's also in his toy line. And he came with Wave 1. And also, just to show you guys how, how the interchangeability with the Master Universe Origin figures, I'm going to bring in Skeletor. Go ahead and put some of his parts. And now I'm going to go ahead and build a figure. So I'm going to go ahead and take Skeletor's bottom section right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take Ric Flair's top section right here like that. Next, since we're featuring The Undertaker, I'm going to pop on The Undertaker's head. So, so far, I have a Master Universe Origin figure, a, a Superstars figure, and a Superstars figure, all kind of interacting and mingling. Just show you how interchangeable all these parts are. So, I'm going to grab one of Undertaker's arms, pop it into Ric Flair's arm, uh, chest, sorry. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab Skeletor's arm and pop that right on to Pop that right into Ric Flair's chest. Just to show you that all these parts are interchangeable. Really, really cool. And like I said, the options are endless with the different three different uh, toy lines that they have available with this body type. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Undertaker back together again. But if you guys found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, click the bell to be notified any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching Rad Seal's Awesome Toy Collector Review. I'll check you guys out next time.